have you ever wanted to be on your cruise and have Wi-Fi in your room, but go everywhere else without having Wi-Fi, like go to the pool deck, go to the buffet, go to main dining, enjoy your time, enjoy your time with your family, but still be able to get work done. Check on so social media if you wanted to, do any of those. Well, here's the best cruise hack for you all. Okay, so before you call me a liar, you have to at least have one of the internet packages for this to work. This is literally the best cruise hack that I can come up with whatsoever. So please thank me later. This little thing, uh, I will post this, the link to this. Uh, this is a certain brand that I've used on our cruise recently on the Carnival Elation. It is it's got little bunny ears and everything. I'll show you how to plug it in. You really only need the power cable and the uh, adapter to plug into the wall. <laughs> it'll turn on, it'll light up on here, you'll see that. And then it takes about 40 seconds for it to register. Everything on the actual uh, information and everything else you need is on the bottom of the router. It'll have the MAC address and basically the password, how to find it, what's the name of it. You can change all that in the settings. This Wi-Fi router is specifically the GLI net router it's a travel wi-fi router repeater or hotspot however you want to call it right now it's 39.90 there's a 15 percent coupon on it so there's more expensive ones of these but you don't need them just trust me this works good plus you're going to save a lot of money in the long run just getting this repeater this device is basically a wi-fi repeater essentially it takes the cruise ship Wi-Fi signal that you purchase in one device and it clones your phone or whatever device you pick to the router and it spreads that signal to whatever device you want. So you only need to purchase one device on the cruise ship no matter what ship you're on. So the first thing you need to do is access the Wi-Fi on the cruise ship, whether it be Carnival, Royal, Norwegian, Princess, anything first, do that first. They're all different, so I won't be able to set that up for you at all. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll show you how to set it up. It's pretty simple. Once you wait about 40 seconds to a minute, it will get a good signal. You need to connect to it. Then I will show you going from that point on. Once you get connected, basically we're going to use your phone or your desktop. I'm gonna use an iPhone here in this case. Basically take the Wi-Fi off of there and put it onto the router itself so it can spread the signal to whatever device you want to connect to or whoever you want to connect to your device. I'll let you follow along with me. You go into settings here, you go into your Wi-Fi, you find the network on here. It should be the GL, whichever one your address is on the bottom of the router. You click on that, you enter the password which is usually the same, it's good life. It's not too hard to guess. It, literally all of them are the same one. So you wanna change that. And then once you get that done, it will connect to the actual router. So now you're on the network of that. So there is an IP address that you wanna to go to. It will put, it'll have it on the bottom of the router. I believe they're all the same. I think it's 192.68. 8.1 all of them are the same uh, so you'll come up to a screen and it will have all of these options on it uh, you can also set up a VPN multiple things on here to protect yourself which we won't get into but you see you'll have cable repeater 3g mode and tethering you can do multiple things but the most interesting thing we're going to do here is called the repeater because that's basically what we're doing so it's going to scan for the wi-fi and it's a no internet connection found so you will find whichever wi-fi you want to connect to on most cruise ship it'll be like Royal Caribbean, Wonder of the Seas, Carnival Elation, Carnival Mardi Gras. So you pick whichever one that might be, okay? And you put in the password, whichever one this is. So I'm gonna do this for my own since I'm home. And once you get that, it will take it a few seconds. You can hit remember so you don't have to repeat this process because it's kind of painful. 
once you have that, you'll have a success. So you'll have whichever router you picked. Obviously, this is certain IP addresses. I'll have to block that out a little bit. Either way, you have it connected. That's the main thing that you want here. So you're like, well, it doesn't work. It won't connect to any of my devices. It's not working. So you gotta go here. We're gonna go into more settings. So you're gonna go to Mac clone here because basically all the Wi-Fi's are registering your Mac address. So it will show you your Mac address. It'll show you the default Mac address. I'll have to block these out for you. But pretty much what you wanna do is you want to clone your Wi-Fi address. So basically you want to delete this whole address completely. So once you have it completely deleted, you want to put in your own Wi-Fi password. Go here into your private Wi-Fi address. It'll, it will probably be blocked out, so you're going to have to figure that one out. So the best thing to do here is not actually connect to the router, connect to your the actual cruise ship's Wi-Fi. So that'll be Carnivalation, Carnival, whatever. So you click on that and then you get the info from there. And then you take that Wi-Fi address right here in the private and you copy that, okay? You can actually hit copy, like you hold down the button or you can write it down, whatever you wanna do, copy that. And then you're gonna go back into your web browser, put that in and save it. Once you do that, you hit apply right here it'll save it to your router. Just keep it that way the whole time you're on the cruise ship. So now after you applied your, your Mac address to clone it onto the router, you can actually connect back to the router now. So what happens is your Mac address from your phone is basically cloned to the router, which basically acts as your phone now. So it's kind of like hot spotting a little bit. So you need to disconnect from the cruise ship Wi-Fi and connect to the router, connect all your devices to the router name, change the router name, change the password so no one else can get on your network because the bandwidth speed will slow down tremendously more people on it. So that's the smartest thing to do, but it should work. Uh, it shouldn't have any issues. That's the main hard part about this because most people want to just plug it in and then connect to the Wi-Fi and they think that everything's just gonna connect magically. It's not. So that's the best way to do this. So the pros of this obviously is you can buy one package, which is about $100. Usually on most ships, maybe even $200 for even just one device, uh, but you can connect multiple devices. So we were able to connect my phone, my wife's phone, my iPad, my laptop, all at the same time, run them all at the same time. Granted, the more devices you have, it's gonna slow down, but that's the pros. Uh, the price of the router was around $40 on Amazon. Like I said, I'll put the link down in the description. I'll have a picture of it here. I got the cheapest one. Really, you don't need anything faster than this because you're really not gonna get the best speeds on cruise Wi-Fi regardless of what you do. The only con that I had with this router is anytime you leave the room, this may just be a carnival scenario, uh, but anytime you leave the room and you try to connect back to the Carnival Wi-Fi, it'll boot you off because you can't have two MAC addresses on the same Wi-Fi because it thinks that you're stealing the Wi-Fi and you're not registered. So the simple quick fix of this is just unplug the router and you can still use your phone connected to the Wi-Fi of the cruise ship anywhere. Granted, no one else can use it at that point. And then once you get back to the room, plug it in. It takes about 40 seconds to a minute for it to get the signal and to send it out to whoever you want it to. But that's essentially how you do it. If you have any questions, any kind of like troubleshooting or anything like that, uh, just leave them down in the comments. I should be able to help you out. Basically, you just need to clone your address, setting up VPNs, firewalls, and everything else. A little more complicated, probably won't get into that. Most people aren't looking for that. You just need to have a good password on there, and then you just give the password to who you want to give the password. Say your uncle's in the next cabin beside you, or he's across the hallway, and he can still pick up the router. Lot, let him log in, give him the password. He'll save a lot of money. So you've got 11 people in your family and you're all connected and you just want one device, 
you can connect them all for the price of one. Granted, hopefully the cruise ship will never block these, but I don't see how they would do that without just banning routers completely, which hopefully they won't do. But if this helped you in any way, like, comment, subscribe, leave me comments. I'll help you out best I can. Hopefully this is the best cruise hack that you've ever run into.